And now we're ready. Uh, welcome, to, welcome, ladies and gents, to the online commentary hosted to you by Arrow Man. I'm here to commentate on this lively event of KOF, <laughs> hosted by the East London Fighters. Here we go. And we have here Lord Grimmelus versus Memento, Norway. Memento Norway is actually um, he's he's actually an old school player. We've got two clocks. This is a mirror match, as it sounds. Pretty much, and I hate his clock. His clocks again. So the European, the world's top European clock, taking on another clock. Yep. Figures. <laughs> oh, I have to say that your, his clock might be better. Who's to say? <laughs> Oh, but we see how witness 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 Momentum remains clutch, he's trying to stop it because he can get it first. The look is definitely keeping out of the open, but he answers back with a special. I think that's only way he can see himself through, but he doesn't have a meter to make something happen. Whip has the best overhead as a scene. Amazing overhead. Oh, that, was, that was a very in vain max mode. It takes a while to get into grips of which that's what. Oh, that must hurt. It sounds as deadly as it sound as it hell. We can establish the natural. We've got the last 10 seconds left. There's pressure on everyone. You know, I think the best way. I think with whip you can't actually have a quick round. It's, I think it's impossible. Yeah, there's nothing like a quick round if you're feeling each other. Plus, no one's able to establish their game. It's going to be 60 seconds now. It's a lot of fast-paced action. And this is the much feared Clark who's struggling against whips. Highly unresilient neutral game. That overhead is almost unseeable. What can Clark do, really? Yeah, well, roll in. Well, he's definitely keeping Grimness in the corner. Oh, the man. And he starts with the connectors. Is he going to finish him? He finished him. <laughs> it really counts for the execution. I think at this point, Memento can definitely keep Cream in this trouble with the keeps up with the persistent execution. We've got brothers in arms facing each other. We've got Ralph versus Clark. They're both trying to poke each other out. The brothers would. I don't want to get close to him. Uh, never one of them is really close to each other. Because they know they're both very dangerous up close. Good neutral, a good footsie. No footsie would do. Ooh, that was a dangerous one right there. Are you getting with the aerial attacks? That was a quick confirmation to Max Mode. It's not something I see usually, I'll, I'll be able to hit twice in the air. And he just rushes in like a very fearless Ayori. Well, he's already got a max mode that he's unable to keep the pressure. Ayori is definitely struggling against this close up game with Ralph. He's definitely, definitely not powerful in the team to fuel takes from the players. 
Now we've been able to establish a lot more block strings. Uh, uh, by definitely using open, you can swing with the aerial attacks like that. This is a Marvel vs. Capcom with the Super Squad. <laughs> but I already, oh, you can execute the cast or something. Can you finish this? Can you finish oh, this? He predicts my very, role. Very interesting, evasive move by Mentor. But, ladies and gentlemen, I almost forgot the game hasn't ended yet. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Euro, you got the Euro's top clock to make that difference in the game. But, oh, he didn't have to work much on the pokes. Yeah, game one goes to me. Yay. Now, of course, all the sets are first of three here, um, and Norway is one of the guys who, can actually, who actually learns very, very quickly. It's all my shenanigans with these characters he'll figure out pretty soon on, very early on. Well, in this first of three, let's see how the mental adapts to this quick gameplay. You may have to roll me in the ground footsies and aim for the legs most of the time. It's turning into a bit of a scramble, but it's not really working out in my mental favor. He seems to take a lot of nibbles and damage and health, but with all those nibbles, they definitely amounted to something. His where was his health? No need for whip to do combo as well as his health. <laughs> I don't think Klaus was in a fair too well. He can't afford to get these scrabbles, but I think a good maximum of rush down would make a difference. He needs to have a lot of his meter, but this is a very amazing reaction. That anti air special move. Wick has a very impressive special move. It definitely hits from both corners. It hits in the air as well. That makes that he makes for some high tier, high caliber abilities. With that oh. super that can be circumference of the stage. Oh a no! Very impeccable but, He's going for, <laughs> opting for damage there. What keeps up with grabs like that? It can definitely put Wick in the right place. And he's establishing his game. But does he have the meter? He definitely has the meter. It's a matter of being able to use it. He's going to be able to at least knock out one of Grimace's characters. And the time I'm dead now. There's only so much he can do. He's definitely going to finish up, is he? He's going to finish up. Memento is able to scratch off one of Grimace's characters, one of his main characters, I would say. And Ralph going in with the long range probes. Definitely feel like it's one of the main characters we have in this matchup. Oh no. You want to be glad by Clark. Otherwise, he would literally have you by the balls. <laughs> <laughs> you see, people say that 2.0 has made Clark brain dead because all he needs to do is do that grab and that's 60% of your health gone. Well, Clark managed to use most of the time in the, in the long run. But Ralph has all the meter. I'm not going to need it. Well, that would be counts as the last poke. But during the set, oh. it wasn't enough. Was able to edge him in the air somehow. But this is this is definitely a burden in the mirror match because Memento is low on health. Oh, and that was a wonderful counter right there. And Grimless had the meter to be able to concede. 
was a very, very interesting counter. His ability to react to that was... was <coughs> I believe Kara said it for me, a perfect game. <laughs> But there's no more of the mirror matches, but playing with their anchor character, their final characters, and this is definitely gonna hurt. Definitely gonna hurt. That was a good 60% of health. I think our best area needs to remain at the zoning area. But it's gonna be another perfect game. Oh, it's a perfect game! <laughs> You're its best, everybody. He definitely had him on his toes. You're its best was able to maintain the pressure of Clark, and Iri couldn't keep up with that. Oh, he's going to change his order. I think that means I actually won game two, right? With well, the beating. This is the last game for Grimulus. It's conceded. There's a huge switch up in the in the character format, in the team format. To see how it works out for Memento. And he's, he's starting off with Iori. Yeah. It was like Iori had ooh. A little bit of a point to his curse. You say Iori's gonna have the advantage in the long run, but if Quick is able to do reflections like that, then she's definitely something broken. She's definitely a top tier in the midst of things, in the initial part of Season 2, KOF. And Memento keeps up with the pressure on. That was definitely something impressive. Oh. He's running a train on Grimulus. See, up close, Whip doesn't, doesn't actually have um, an option. Um, an option. Yeah, Whip doesn't, definitely doesn't have her options up close. She likes to establish the king in the neutral and the long range. But I think she can establish a game when someone's long range is much better than hers, especially someone like Ari with that drop out. And that was a wonderful confirm by Adrenalus. That's something like 60%. Everyone is able to do so much damage in this game. Even the meter game. Good preservation and need to control something that you really need in this game. That's a definitely that's definitely a means for Memento to punish any of those air grabs by unfortunately he didn't have enough health to be able to keep up with all the pressure on all those air punches. Memento has been doing very well in this matchup so far. As I can determine, Grimace is going to unload with a lot of kicks. We have long range kicks poking out of the game. But he definitely wants to establish his game. To see how it fares this time. Memento has definitely been adapting. In each of these games, you can see a little changes oh, into really? in the situations. Definitely caught him off guard with that max mode. But this is gonna hurt ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna hurt. Venus seems to excel with those hit confirms. All it takes is one hit to make a difference. Oh, dead now. And Memento's on something impressive. He's gonna finish him right there, isn't he? Mm -hmm. It looks like another mirror match. I can't avoid him. Only difference is uh, Grimless has one character left. He's definitely looking to uh, keep Clark as his uh, rabbit in the hat as a savior, but he is definitely making a difference. It was very suspensive. But well, Memento is the Going into the last match now. Now, this isn't actually a great matchup for Clark. 
so I know why he's changed his order to fit this. Keep him on his toes, those air kicks, or those hair hops. Doesn't give him enough time to react to his approach game. And there's something dangerous, someone able to grapple so much better than any other grappler in this game. And with the last character, he was able to do so much damage. But that was a good answer from Grimulus. That's gonna hurt! Oh my goodness, that's gonna hurt! And that's game set and match, ladies and gentlemen. Grimless takes all three of his sets. Yeah.